Happy Wednesday, scholars. Whenever you see my face, you know that it's time for music class. I hope everyone is doing well, that you've been sheltering in place, that everyone in your family is safe and healthy. But now, let's get down to business. In the background, you can hear music, and that is Muddy Waters singing the Louisiana blues song. I believe it was Jeffrey who asked me about the blues and some of the genres of music that we were going to talk about in music class, and I felt like I might as well make a video about it, and you can watch from the comfort of your home and learn something. So we're going to start off, of course, with a good morning and a welcome song and something to make us feel real positive. Enjoy. What's up, y'all? Please open up your math books to page number nine. We'll get started today with some addition, subtraction. You know I'm about that action. Yeah, so go ahead and open up to page number nine. I know, that's a hit. Make sure you download it on uh, iTunes. Yo, my teacher loves, my teacher loves. Yeah, 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 yeah. My teacher loves me, me, me. My teacher loves me. If they're thinking of me. Waking up at 5.30 Just so you can get to school bright and early Get a couple sips of your coffee Then print a few copies Before we all start walking in <laughs> Is she smile in the morning And the way you make every child feel important With a hug, high five, or a handshake New things to learn from you So I can't wait Love is keeping snacks in your room In case I get hungry or I lose my lunch money Again, lending me a pencil or a pen And you don't get mad if I don't bring it back That's love You always treat me like your own, like your own. The classroom feels like a second home, second home. Every day you're helping me to grow Yes, one thing I'll always know My, my teacher, teacher loves me And they're thinking of me And they're back we get science and history Taking work home just to finish later And then we're at the store saying hi Instead of trying to hide Cause you know I'm really your favorite <laughs> Pizza parties on a Friday hey, And always celebrating birthdays It's tutoring or coaching the team Supporting us to chase after hopes And our dreams, that's love Like when you come to my ball game And I hear you shout my name like all game <laughs> I pretend I'm embarrassed But between you and my parents I'm excited that you all came you always treat us like your own. Like your own. The classroom feels like a second home. Second home. Every day you're helping us to grow. Yes, yeah, one thing I'll always know. Trevion. Trevion. You ready to learn? Trevion. You ready to learn? Thanks for everything you do, Mr. Reed. Robin, Larry, can you take us live right now? We are at Sumner Elementary School for the presentation of the Teacher of the Year Award. And in a surprise twist this year, the winner is all the teachers. Oh. My teacher loves me. And they're thinking of me. When they're learning math and reading science and history. So we won't be boring. video because this teacher loves you and I miss you and all your teachers love you. We get a chance to talk once a week and all we do is talk about how much we miss our scholars. So know that you are loved and we wish the best and we cannot wait to see you. But let's talk about the blues. Let's get right to our lesson. I made myself some notes because you know I'm getting old and I forget everything. The blues was born on southern plantations in the 19th century from African work songs. Africans used work songs in their homeland to make the work go faster, and the rhythms helped everyone work and dig in the fields together. So I have a video of some Africans in Northeast Tanzania working together, and um, 
See for yourself. I think you're going to like it. gentleman that was playing the one string fiddle he's the one that helps them keep the rhythm his cadence or his beat is what they all move to and dance to I guess that helped the work go a lot faster so when the slaves were brought to America they followed that old tradition they made up songs to help them work faster in those hot fields and they also sang those songs because they wanted to complain about their lives they couldn't say anything about how bad things were but in the songs, they were able to, that was an outlet. They were able to say how they felt and complain about the heat, the dirt, about being whipped. So I've got something that I'm going to play for you. And those songs were called plantation songs. I'll be so glad when uh, the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. I'll be so glad. Let's go now to 1863. Black people are free. They are finding jobs as sharecroppers, which means they're still working in the fields. It's still hot. They're still singing. And they're still suffering from racism and oppression, but they're still singing. So in 1911, a man was born by the name of Robert Johnson. They call him the father of the blues. He went all around the South with just his guitar and sang songs about the conditions, about the way black people were treated. And someone heard him and they recorded him. And he became famous all around the world with the music that he sang. So let's hear a little bit of Robert Johnson, born in 1911. I went to the down on my knees. I'm 
in my throat now. Oh, Bobby, thank you down. So whenever you hear a blues song, there nine times out of 10, is gonna be some guitar. And that instrument was brought from Africa. They called it a banjo, but it was really an early guitar. And so it was easy for the slaves to play because Africans played that same instrument. One of the greatest blues guitarists that ever lived was a man by the name of B.B. King. And I thought it'd be good if you would listen to him and um, hear how blues guitar sounds. Enjoy. <laughs> Does it remind you of anything? It should, because today's rock and roll came straight from African-American blues music. One of the most famous rock and roll bands in the world, the Rolling Stones, came here to America and they would go to all the blues clubs. They came here to Chicago because back in the day, Chicago was one of the premier cities for the blues. And even today, Chicago was known for its blues. But the Rolling Stones came here to Chicago, came to America to study with blues musicians so they could add that flavor to their rock and roll music. So I'm going to play a little bit of the Rolling Stones and see if you can hear how it sounds like the blues. <laughs>
you know that it came from Africa. I put it on my board, African work songs, that the slaves used it as their slave chants. It even went into gospel music, but I'm going to give a seminar on that probably next week. We'll talk about gospel music and the blues. And that modern blues today has influenced rock and roll all over the world. So I'm going to end this video with um, a clip from one of my favorite movies called The Blues Brothers. And um, ask your mom, dad, grandma, granddad about it. It was shot here in Chicago. Um, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd from Saturday Night Live decided that they wanted to be uh, have a blues band. And they toured all over America with this band. So um, this particular song stars Ray Charles. It was shot on 47th Street. You will recognize the L. You might even recognize the street. And everybody I know tells me that they were in this movie. But every time I look at it, I don't see anybody I know. So check it out. I hope you enjoy this clip. Uh, 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 excuse me, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the action on this piano. Well, I heard about the fella you've been dancing with all over the neighborhood. So why didn't you ask me, baby? Or didn't you think I could? Well, I know that the boogaloo is out of sight, but the shingle makes a thing. got you up and moving some mornings I play it when I get up and that's my morning dance then I have a cup of green tea and I'm ready for the day so this is the end of our lecture I will see you guys again next week I'm gonna send you on home with uh, muddy waters and I have one more video which I think is very important I'm gonna put it on the end of every lecture that I send to you guys wash your hands you guys be safe be healthy be blessed and I will see you next week Wash baby, wash baby, one, two, three. Wash baby, wash baby, one, two. 
Wash, baby, wash, baby, one. It's called the hand washer. Really, really simple to do. Put two hands together, ain't really nothing new. It's tried and true. Avoid bugs like influenza. Don't intend to lend you a nasty germ. It's time to learn. It's five simple steps. Wet leather, scrub, rinse, dry, and yet. People forget this song help remind you of one of a kind Skyly rap for mankind Keeping hands clean, better hand hygiene Avoid getting sick, limit germs, know what I mean? Got it? Okay, well here's how to help me Pass the message on so we all stay healthy All you gotta do is do the scrub, scrub, scrub And a dub, dub, just wash your hands All you gotta do is do the scrub, scrub, scrub And a dub, dub, just wash your hands All you gotta do is do the scrub, scrub, scrub And a dub, dub, just wash your hands All you gotta do is do the scrub, scrub, scrub in a dub dub, just wash your hands. Yeah, yeah. Wash, baby, wash, baby, one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Wash, baby, wash, baby, one, two, yeah, yeah. three. Wash, baby, wash, baby, one, yeah, two. Yeah. Wash, baby, wash, baby, one. Yeah, yeah. It's so easy to do. Do the little things too. Protect me and you. Now let's go through. When to wash hands, like before you eat food. Touch garbage or dogs up before you clean a room. Touch a toilet, pick up after a pet. When you blow your nose, a cough must not forget. Prevent the spread of germs. You know what I mean? Proper hand washing like a do yourself. I like the way you wash your hands uh, I'm just glad you understand uh, It's the washing that you do uh, That makes me want to say thank you uh, All you gotta do is do the scrub, scrub, scrub And a dub, dub, just wash your hands All you gotta do is do the scrub, scrub, scrub And a dub, dub, just wash your hands All you gotta do is do the scrub, scrub, scrub And a dub, dub, just wash your hands All you gotta do is do the scrub, scrub, scub And a dub, dub, just wash your hands Now wash them, wash them, wash them with ease Be healthy, learn this hand wash technique First wet with water, then apply the soap Then lather your hands and nails and fingers, I hope Next rub and scrub for at least 20 seconds Hum, have it birthday twice, it's recommended Rinse well under clean H2O don't forget to air dry or use clean towel. Clean wet hands promote germ transmission. That's why you gotta dry, make it your main mission. If no soap or water, wise and sanitize. A little Purell, stay well, maximize. A couple extra tips so people don't get sick. Please sneeze in your sleeve, help relieve disease. Quick, cover your cough, jeez, don't give it to me. Yeah, wash it, baby, wash it now, wash it like that. All you gotta do is do the scrub, 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 and a dub, dub, just wash your hands. All you gotta do is do the scrub, 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 and a dub, dub, just wash your hands. All you gotta do is do the scrub, 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 and a dub, dub, just wash your hands. All you gotta do is do the scrub, 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 and a dub, dub, just wash.